If you're finding yourself attracting painful losses in the markets, this is the video for you. In this video, I'm going to explain why you're attracting painful losses and how you can overcome this particular dynamic um, because I've seen a lot of, of traders, I work with a lot of traders who come to me saying that losses are extremely painful, I just keep attracting all these losses and there is something you can do psychologically to help eliminate this. Now, if this is the first time checking into the channel, first and foremost, welcome. Um, my name is Pat Bay Looney. I'm the founder of Master Your Trading Mindset, and we help traders all around the world overcome the psychological patterns that hold them back from consistency and funding. Um, and we help traders ultimately sustain funding um, and do really cool things with their trading. Now, if you don't already have a, a copy of our free Bulletproof Your Mindset tool, get a copy. It will help you, it will serve you. Thousands of traders uh, are using this all around the world. It's helping them lower the emotional volatilities in the market and helping them work towards their funding and consistency goals. Um, link in the description, check it out. Now, when we talk about attracting painful losses, um, there are two things that I'd love to explain to sort of preamble um, my theory on this to help a very, a very practical thing you can do to help not attract painful losses. Now, we have to differentiate between our reality what, what we create as our reality and what's actually out there, actuality. So let's say, for example, we have in our mind our reality, we'll call that reality, that's our personal reality. And then we have actuality, what's actually out there. Um, so those are two very different things and we don't wanna get those confused. In actuality, in the markets, as a trader, you're gonna win and you're gonna lose. There's gonna be winning sometimes, there's gonna be losing sometimes. That's just the reality of the situation. There's both win and loss in the market, there's both up and down in the market, there's both um, long and short in the market, that's just how it is. And as a trader, you're gonna experience both winning and losing because both are essential for your growth. You have to understand that if you constantly won as a trader, you'd become very complacent, you wouldn't you, you know, you'd think you're the best and you wouldn't learn, you wouldn't continue to develop, you wouldn't continue to be teachable and open, you wouldn't continue to refine your systems and your processes, you'd stunt your growth. So we need the losing there, we need the challenge there to hold us accountable to continue to grow. So winning and losing are gonna continue to be part of a trader's journey so they're open, they're teachable, they're accountable, they're putting in work every day to continue to learn and to grow and to develop as traders. So in actuality, there's gonna be both winning and losing as a trader, both were essential for your growth. But what I see sometimes is in traders' minds, in their reality, they impose an expectation onto the market that I have to win, or I always have to win, or this particular trade has to be a win. And whenever there's a, whenever there's a discrepancy between reality and actuality, you create stress in your life. Because what you're trying to do is you're trying to impose an artificial fantasy that you've created in your own mind, in your reality, and impose it onto the market, onto actuality, where it doesn't even exist. Because remember, in actuality, in the markets, it's going to be both winning and losing. So if we have this unrealistic expectation in our mind that we always have to win, or this trade has to be a win, or the first trade of every month has to be, every month has to be a win, and we impose this artificial, unrealistic expectation or fantasy onto the market, then what's gonna happen is we're gonna think we're attracting losses, painful losses, but in actuality, the loss is always there, but it's because of our unrealistic expectation going into the market that we think, because we're, we're seeking after winning, we're seeking after the unattainable, and then we get smacked by the loss that's always there, but we've blocked out about awareness and reality, and then we think we're attracting painful losses, when we're not actually attracting painful losses, they're always there. So the very simple way to stop attracting painful losses is to have realistic expectations in yourself and on the markets as a trader. Recognize that you're gonna both win and lose. You're gonna have good months, you're gonna have sometimes poor performing months. That's the journey of a trader. Both were essential, and here's the next level to this, right? Recognize you're gonna have both winning and losing, but learn to embrace the losing as an essential part for your growth. Now, an analogy I love that I heard one of my, um, one of my mentors, whatever you wanna call them, use, is imagine an animal in the wild 
If that animal only had prey, only had support, only had things they could consume, then that animal would get extremely gluttonous and fat and they would lose their fitness. And then there would be a high calorie target for easy effort that would eventually die out in the animal kingdom. So too, if that animal didn't have any prey, all they had was predator, they would become very skinny and may shed and they'd be an easy target that would eventually die out. So both polarities, always winning or always losing, eventually lead to us being unfit and eventually dying off. But if that animal had an equal amount of prey, things it could consume, and had an equal amount of predator, things it could run away from and defend itself from, that animal would maintain maximum fitness. So maximum fitness, maximum development and growth happens on the border of prey and predator. It happens on the border of positive and negative. It happens on the border of winning and losing as a trader. And if we look and study a lot of different industries or um, different studies out there, even the human body, you recognize that it's both building and destroying. And both is, a, is essential to continue to develop and to continue to um, evolve, right? And in society, you've got two opposing value systems. And sometimes they fight at it to help evolve society. And new ideas come from that. So as a trader, if we have a fantasy that we're always going to win, or this trade has to be a win, then we're going to think we're attracting painful losses because in actuality, winning and losing is part of the game. Both are there. So balance your expectations and recognize that as a trader, you're going to both win and lose and go one le level deeper than that. Ask yourself, how does losing actually serve me and help me become a great trader? And embrace losing because it's the thing that holds you accountable to continue to learn. Hold you accountable to continue to be teachable and open. It holds you accountable to go back to the high probability setups in your trading plan. It holds you accountable to um, do your review and to be on time to the markets. Losing is an essential part of your growth. And the moment you see that in your mind and you realize that, you know what? I don't want to run away from losing. I'm going to embrace losing because I know it's a necessary part of, of the journey. And I know it's there helping me grow. You embrace losing, use it to your advantage. All of a sudden you have realistic expectations. And then what you do is you give yourself permission to transcend the outcome of a position. And you recognize either if this is a win or a loss, I don't really care. All I want to do is consistently execute on the plan I have. And I know over a long period of time, I'm going to end up profitable with that. And that's really the mindset I've seen of the most successful clients I work with. Those traders who do exceptionally well coming through my 12 week challenge, they don't care about the outcome. All they want to do is just stick to their processes. They just want to execute on their plans. And over a year or two years, they have exceptional results and they get payouts through funding. And they do incredible things with that because they have balanced realistic expectations, they're process based, and they don't have unrealistic expectations that keep them in a cycle of attracting painful losses. So that's my little spiel today. I hope that was insightful. Um, and if you wanna learn more, first and foremost, check out that Bulletproof Your Mindset tool. If you enjoy that, check out the 21 day challenge. That's a, a mind blower. It's a very accessible way to get some really cool principles from me. Um, and then when you're ready for the next stage after that, I'll see you in the 12 week challenge. That's really where I share my comprehensive 12 steps to ensuring that traders get funded, keep that funding and do amazing things with their life. Um, so I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.